Peace be with you. Let's talk a little bit about how law in the United States of America is used to oppress people of faith. Uh, mostly Christians. I think they're the largest oppressed minority here in the United States right now. Uh, and how that same law is used to provide cover and to give freedoms to people like uh, Balenciaga, the perverts who are willing to sexualize our, our children. There is a uh, case in front of the Supreme Court today where a Christian woman is being persecuted by law to get her to force to communicate things that are contrary to what she actually believes in. So this woman is a web designer in Colorado, and she said that she was happy to create uh, graphics and web designs for anyone, including uh, people, uh, uh, LGBT people, but that her Christian faith, she said, uh, does not allow her to create uh, messages celebrating the same-sex marriage. And a state law in uh, Colorado forbids this. Uh, and this is not all that dissimilar from a case where a baker, uh, also in Colorado in 2018, uh, was under this, uh, similar uh, pressures to violate basically his own faith and his own beliefs in order to make somebody else comfortable in their decisions. It's not like uh, people can't go somewhere else and, and do business with someone else, but they are now saying that you can no longer discriminate uh, against people on account of their behavior. And that was throughout history. That is how we always did things, right? You're not friends with pedophiles because you discriminate against them on account of their behavior, not because they're black, not because they're white, because you know, we can't discriminate on account of race because that's just stupid. Because what good is a white person to me if they rob me? What good is a white person to me if they uh, rape my uh, children? What good is a black, what evil is a black person to me if they help me and show kindness to me, right? So that is the wrong kind of discrimination. But if I discriminate against a white person because I know he's a thief, then that's the right kind of discrimination. So if I, under my faith, discriminate against you on account of your behavior, that's no different than what uh, Dr. Mar Martin Luther King said in his, uh, one of his speeches that he dreams of a day when his daughters are going to be judged on the content of their character and not on the color of their skin, right? So they've taken this uh, word discrimination and they've made it into a boogeyman and now they, they come after people of faith by law trying to destroy their businesses, trying to destroy their ability to express themselves express themselves even within certain bounds, right? So this woman says, just like the baker said, I don't care if you're, you know, LGBT or whatever, I'll make you a cake, but I won't make you a cake in one certain uh, uh, environment, right? In one context. I don't want to be associated with something that I, you know, I don't want to promote my business on that. I don't want to put my name on that. I don't want to put my stamp of approval on that through my business because I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't believe in that. I believe what you're doing is wrong, and I have the right to say that, and you can't pressure me into that. So now this woman is, is again, in the same boat as this man was, just because she is Christian. Just because she is Christian, right? So at the same time, we are all uh, familiar with the Balenciaga campaign, right? These people, they put a, a bondage on teddy bears and put a particular case in the environment, in the whole, you know, a photo shoot, uh, which is uh, Ashcroft versus uh, uh, the Free Speech Coalition, right? This, oh, Free Speech Coalition, what a beautiful name. Well, for the Free Speech Coalition is an adult entertainment trade association, right? So they're porn uh, they, they make uh, uh, that kind of movies. I don't even know if I can say what they make because when I made a video about this before, it got banned. But you know, you know what they make. So the reason why this case existed, in 1996, the uh, Child Pornography Prevention Act prohibits any visual the, 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 any visual depiction, including any photograph, film, video, picture, or computer, or computer-generated image or picture that is or appears to be of a minor engaging in a sexually explicit conduct, and any uh, sexually explicit, explicit image that is advertised, promoted, presented, described, or distributed in such a manner that conveys that impression. So, the problem with them was that the words it depicts, uh, so uh, you know the words appears to be and conveys the impression. Uh, they argued are going provisions that are going overboard. When we're talking about uh, you know kid pornography, they said, well, it shouldn't say you know it appears to be or conveys the impression. We should be able to make it appear so, even if we're not doing it, right? 
and they won. So the courts told us that it is free speech that you can make porn where it appears to be kids just as long as it's not kids and that is free speech they said uh those restrictions are to, are going overboard right they are infringing on spe free speech but if you are a christian baker and you don't want to speak with your work you don't want to make a cake uh celebrating a union that you do not approve approve of or if you are a Christian graphic designer and you don't want to uh, create a work celebrating something that you don't approve of, then they will drag you in front of court and say that you do not have the right to that. So this is how far our society has flipped. Now, I am a Muslim. I am not a Christian. But I think that it is of extreme urgence for us to recognize the how far our society has sunk. Christians and soon to be Muslims probably, but Christians right now are being persecuted under the guise of, of justice, and they are being dealt with unjustly, while at the same time perverts and pedophiles are being excused under those same laws. So the laws that are being used to persecute Christians are being used to excuse the pedophiles. And this is where we are right now, and this is how serious our society has gotten. This is how serious the situation has gotten. And I, I hope people wake up and see this, because those in power just use legalese and they use words to always, always hide behind those words and make it seem impossible, make it seem like there is no right and wrong. Well, there is a right and wrong. But uh, as long as we do nothing about it, then we will continue to lose. We have shown that there is a way to pressure government, to pressure the politicians, to pressure the entertainers, to pressure all these people by canceling them, by, by withdrawing our business from them. And I, I think uh, that has to become a lot more aggressive at this point because people of faith, if they don't do something soon, they won't be able to do something pretty soon. Peace, people.